Welcome back to Terminator Genesis Rise of the Resistance. We gotta get up here to where the truck uh, rendezvous point is. We got outer, get ourselves out of trouble a little bit for last time. We took down the boss, that was excellent. We have one uh, wound on our Guardian Terminator. We have two wounds on Alex. No wounds on Kyle. Kyle's heading up there to get to the truck. So let's uh, zoom in here a little bit, see what's going on and figure out who's going first. All right, taking a look at the situation here, we have Alex who has got his two wounds on him. Currently here, he's caught three enemies close by. Actually, another one right over here, which you can't quite see. Uh, not good, uh, but I do think we are going to have Alex going first. So we're gonna grab his dice and let's roll him up. All right, let's see what Alex gets for dice. Let's hope he gets some high numbers. Ooh, yes indeed. He gets a two, a couple sixes, and a five. Let's get to the board and see what he's going to do with that. All right, well the first thing he's going to do, he's going to heal one wound as I flipped that was a two. So he's going to take the two and put that as a rest action. And that's going to heal one of his two wounds. So he's looking in pretty good shape now. And then he's going to end up taking uh, his plasma assault rifle and he has got a five and two sixes. He's gonna put a five on this. He's got a range of six and be rolling three dice. Now when he puts his five on there, he gets to re-roll one of his dice and he can actually hit this guy because if we look at the range here, uh, there is, it actually, believe it or not, you can hit this area from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. He's gonna attack this Terminator Rolling three dice, gets to re-roll one of them. All right, he's attacking the T-800. He's got three dice, we need three hits. He gets to re-roll one. And there's the three hits right there. I don't even think he needs to re-roll, but we'll do it anyway. All right, so he does three hits. The Terminator will take one step forward, but he's done enough damage to it. It is destroyed. All right, that was excellent. So this Terminator would take one step forward, but it is end up, ends up being destroyed. So that's the end of that one. Uh, and now we have two sixes remaining for Alex. And you know what? He's going to use one of the sixes for another attack. Same weapon, and he'll shoot one of these hunter killers. Let's get back to the dice tray. He gets to re-roll one of them. All right, this time three dice gets to re-roll one. Only needs two hits, though. And, okay, well, there's two, but he gets to re-roll one. Oh, it's got to be a hit. Yes! Oh man, did we get lucky. So three hits. The Hunter Killer is going to dodge one, but he still does two. That's enough to destroy it. Excellent. All right, he's able to destroy the Hunter Killer. So there's only one left there. Took down a Terminator and a Hunter Killer. Excellent stuff. He has a six remaining. Yes, he's going to use it for movement. <laughs> he's going to move six. Where is he going? Well, he's going to go and join Kyle. Let me just readjust the camera a bit to get him moving. All right, well, we want to get way up here, so uh, Alex is going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six to there. All right, he's making his way. And now it is time for Alex to spawn enemies, rolling two dice, and then the enemies that are left on the board will move and attack, plus the ones that spawn. All right, here comes some reinforcements, and a two and a four. There's no four on the board, so that's excellent. The two is going to be uh, the blue, so it's gonna be one hunter killer coming in at spawn point two. And it looks like our guardian terminator is in for some fun. So this it's gonna come in here, and it's gonna go one, two, three, four, attacking our guardian terminator. This one will attack the guardian terminator, and you could just see the edge of this T-800. It's gonna go one, two, three, and four but it's got no line of sight to anybody. All right, what's gonna happen? Two hunter killers attacking our guardian terminator. Let's get to the dice tray. All right, two hunter killer attacks on our guardian terminator and we have, well, one hit. So that's one attack doing one damage. Ooh, that was the first attack, that's not good. All right, so our guardian terminator is gonna take a damage or wound, I should say, back to the dice tray for the second attack. All right, the second attack from the second Hunter Killer. And this time it misses our Guardian Terminator. So we took one wound, not terrible. That's the end of 
Alex's turn. Let's go back to the board and figure out what we're doing next. All right, I don't want Alex to go next because then this T-800 is going to be shooting at our Guardian Terminator. So we're going to have the Guardian Terminator go next. It's going to be rolling up. Four dice, let's see what he gets. All right, four dice for the Guardian Terminator. Come on, let's get some nice high rolls. And yeah, those are looking pretty good. He's got a four, five, a six, and a one. Let's get to the board and have him allocate some dice. All right, so the first thing he's going to do is use a one as a rest action because he's got too many wounds on him, so he's going to heal one of the two wounds. I think that's all the healing he's going to do. He does now have a four, five, and a six, and he needs a six for his weapons to be able to re-roll. So he will go ahead and use the six on his plasma rifle. Got a range of eight, rolling three dice, and he's going to use the six so he gets to re-roll one die. So we're going to put the six on there. He's going to be shooting at this yellow uh, T-800 here. All right, let's get to the dice tray and roll up that attack. All right, our Guardian Terminator using his plasma assault rifle gets to re-roll one. Come on, we need three hits. Oh, yes. One, two, three hits. We don't need to re-roll anything. He destroys that T-800. Perfect. All right, he takes that T-800 off the board, melts it down with his plasma fire. And let's see, he has a four and a five left. With the four, I think he's going to go ahead and use his plasma shotgun. Uh, he's not going to get any rerolls or anything, but he's going to be rolling four dice. All right, we're going to put the four on there. And he's going to be attacking. Let's go ahead and attack this uh, hunter killer right here. Let's get to the dice tray and roll up that four attack dice. All right, our guardian rolling four dice, attacking the one hunter killer, and he needs two hits. No, oh my God. Wow, absolute miss. Uh, he even dodges one. He gets no hits at all on that hunter killer. All right, back to the board. All right, our Terminator has one die remaining. He's going to use that as a five for movement. And he also has, as I keep forgetting, uh, whenever you use a move action space, you may move one additional hex even if you are down. So he can move six by using the five for movement. All right, let's get him moving six spaces. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five. Actually, five and... Because that's not a full space, is it? And he's going to sit right there. All right. Because he can't move into there. All right. That's going to be it. All right. Up uh, next is we have to spawn his enemies. All right. He's going to roll two dice. And let's see what comes on the board. All right. Two dice. Four reinforcements. And we get a two and a three. Which I think is not bad. Two is Hunter Killer. And so is the three. So let's go ahead and get them on the board, and then we're going to be moving all enemies, see if there's going to be any attacks. All right, well, at the two location, we get a hunter killer. It's going to come in here. It's to move eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It cannot get close enough to attack. That's good. All right, let's get the other spawn point at three going, and he still has a T-800 moving as well. All right, zoomed out quite a bit. So we have a hunter killer showing up at spawn point three. It's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's just motoring around the board trying to get over there. He also has a T-800, one, two, three, four, and that's it. That is it for our Guardian Terminator's turn. Up last will be Kyle Reese. All right, Kyle's sitting right here. He actually has line of sight to that one, does he not? Oh, yeah. And what's the range there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And Kyle happens to have a lovely Plasma Rifle Mark II with a range of eight. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get rolling up his dice and see what he gets. All right, let's see what Kyle gets. Come on, again, some nice high numbers would be good. Uh, well, he gets a couple threes, a two, and a five. All right, let's get to the board and get him using his dice. All right, this is not bad. We are going to use the Plasma Rifle Mark II. We've already looked at the range. He can hit this guy from way over there. Uh, and 
you need a four or five and six on this. Well, guess what? He's going to use a three because his special gunner ability here, we haven't looked at that in a while. Whenever you assign a die to an attack action space, you may increase or decrease its value by one. Awesome. So he gets to turn that three into a four, which then gives us a special ability on the Plasma Rifle Mark II, which means he can re-roll one result. So he's rolling three dice attacking this Hunter Killer, and he gets to re-roll one. Let's get to the dice tray and roll it up. All right, Kyle's attacking the Hunter Killer and gets to re-roll one. Wow, this is tough. Two and three hits. That's enough to destroy the Hunter Killer. Excellent stuff. All right, that Hunter Killer is blown up by Kyle's precision attacks, and he has three dice remaining. So he's got a two, a three, and a five. Does he have any damage on him? No, he does not. So he's just going to use the five and the three for movement. So let's go ahead. We're going to put the five on first and then the three. We'll leave that there. All right, let's, I'm going to zoom up here a little bit. He's going to get moving. All right, Kyle's going to start out with five. One, two, three, four, five. And remember, he can move onto this terrain for just one movement. And then for three, he'll use the three and he goes one into here, leaving him two movement remaining and Waypoint Echo. We have to now take a look in the book and see what Waypoint Echo has to say. All right, Waypoint Echo says, dodging around the smoking remains of the T-800, we stumbled out into the desert sun, looked around, but there was no truck waiting for us. Kyle and I exchanged worried glances and we kept our weapons at the ready, waiting for the horde of machines to boil out of the underground passages after us. The Guardian just looked as stoic as ever, its plasma shotgun at the ready. What do we do now? Alex asked with an anxious look at the black opening behind us. We wait a minute or two, John said as he reached for his radio. They'll be here. Okay, it says leave the waypoint token. Uh, at the end of the second round, after reaching this waypoint, the end of the second round, after reaching this waypoint, the truck arrives. Then if all characters are in the zone, the mission ends. So let's see, at the end of the second round, after reaching the waypoint, so we're still in a round, so this would be the first round of reaching the waypoint. Uh, yeah, then we have to all be in there at the end of the next round uh, to win. And let's see, we have two more movement for, two more movement, and I don't know if he's going to use his two movement or just stay there. You know, he's going to use his two movement, he's going to go one, one and two, he's going to back right up to the waypoint. So next time, uh, we need to do that. Alright, we have to roll now, he's not going to use his two, he doesn't really have anything to use it on. Now it is time to roll for reinforcements for Kyle Reese. All right, rolling reinforcements for Kyle, and he gets a three. There's no four on the board. That's excellent. And three is a mile away. And for Kyle, that's a hunter killer. All right, wow, getting kind of lucky. All right, let's get his enemies on the board moving, and we'll see what they can do. All right, back in the camera, way out, because we got some enemies far, far away. So spawn point three is right here. We get it so lucky. So a hunter killer is going to show up there. All right, I'm going to move everything. We're going to start with this T-800. It's going to go one, two, three, four. It's obviously nowhere near shooting at anybody. This T-800 is going to go one, two, three and get bottlenecked in there. It can't move any farther. And this guy's going to go eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's also going to get stuck behind the red enemies. And that is going to conclude our playthrough for today. Uh, we just need to all be in that location at the end of the turn. And I wonder if we should just have a finish off our turn because if we can get uh, Alex and our Guardian into that zone at the end of their activations, then we'll win the game. So, you know what? I think maybe we'll just end it off here. I think we can do that. We're going to then start a new round. And by starting a new round, we're going to start off with our Guardian Terminator and see if he can make it all the way over to that location. And so we're going to roll up his dice, and we're going to have another turn. That turn went relatively quickly. All right, so rolling up his dice, he gets six. Oh yeah, he's easily going to get into that zone. All right, let's get to the board and have him take in his activations. It's all about just getting our Guardian Terminator and Alex into that zone. 
and we will have finished the mission. So first up, our Guardian Terminator is going to take the two. Uh, he's going to take the two and he's going to heal. He's going to do a rest action. Heal his final wound. He's fully healed. Then he will take the three and use his plasma shotgun. Four dice attacking the hunter killer. No re-rolls or anything. Let's get to the dice tray and roll up that one attack. All right, four dice plasma shotgun. We just need two hits. Come on, is he going to blow it? Uh, he doesn't blow it this time. He gets three hits, and we. Uh, it says if you roll any of these uh, things, you dodge one hit. So the hunter killer dodges the one hit, but not the other two. It is destroyed. All right, that hunter killer is off the board and destroyed. Excellent. And now we have a couple of dice left, and we're going to use them for movement. So we're going to use the six, which is a seven for our Guardian Terminator because he's got the Assault class. So we're going to start by him moving seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then he'll use his four, which can be a five for more movement. And he'll just move one, two into here. All right, he's in place, but we have to roll now to uh, spawn enemies for our Guardian Terminator. All right, let's see what we get for spawning with Guardian Terminator. We get a four to five. We do not have spawn point four, and we do not have a spawn point five. That could not be better. We have one, two, three, and six. Excellent. All right, up next, we're gonna have Alex going. I think all we need to do with Alex is get him here, and we win the scenario. One, two, three, four, five, six. He needs a total of six movement. Uh, he even has a rank token left. Let's get him rolling his dice and let's see what he can do. All right, rolling up his dice for Alex. Come on, we need some high numbers. <laughs> oh my God. Well, guess what? He has a rank token left. He's got his one rank token. He's burning that. We're re-rolling the three ones. We'll keep the five. Wow, that was hilarious. Come on, he's caught a move. Uh, he gets a six, a one, and a three. That's better. All right, let's get to the board, get him moving. All right, let's have Alex moving six. He's going to use a six, of course, for movement. Uh, and he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. He is now in the zone. But he's also going to use another five, because we want to get him out of the way. Uh, so we're going to use five for movement for Alex. One, two, three, four, five. We'll put him here. He's going to use the one to use a rest action, taking off his final wound. Everyone's fully healed now. And the three, he's going to put the three on his special uh, ability. It says, the die must match an enemy entrance. Any character can discard this die to use the value instead of the reinforcement rolled. Because we need to roll reinforcements now for Alex. And then, yes, we do have to have Kyle go as well. All right, reinforcements for Alex. He gets a one and a five. Is that going to be okay? A one uh, and a five. The f no five. So the one. Uh, let's make the one a three. We might as well use the ability. So out of three for Alex is a T-800 coming out a mile away. Yep, this is kind of crazy. So one, two, three, four. This T-800 is nowhere in sight. We have two more enemies to move for Alex, though. And the two other enemies are this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's trying to get up there. And a T-800, one, two, three, four. And that's it. That's the end of Alex's turn. We do have to have Kyle take his turn, though. Because we don't win the scenario until the end of this round, which will be after uh, Kyle takes his turn. So let's take Kyle's dice. We're going to roll them up and see what he wants to do. All right, rolling up Kyle's dice. And he gets actually some pretty decent numbers. All right, let's see what he wants to do. Well, Kyle's all about the shooting. So you know what? Why doesn't he go ahead? He's going to move three because <laughs> he can. He's just going to go... One, two, three onto the cover, and then he'll use a four on his plasma rifle mark two. So he gets to re-roll one to one result, rolling three dice. Let's get to the dice tray and roll up the attack against that hunter killer. All right, Kyle gets to roll three dice, re-roll one of them. Uh, okay, well, gets to re-roll one. <laughs> 
and he doesn't actually take it out. But you know what? He has a 4 and a 5, he's going to take the 5, he's going to do that again. Same weapon, same attack. Alright, let's see if he can take it down. Three dice, gets to... <laughs> nope, not happening. Alright, well, uh, Kyle tried, he still has one die remaining. And with his final die, he'll use it for movement. Well, he I can't believe he moved out, tried to shoot, and couldn't do anything. So he'll move just one space back. Or actually, one, two, three. He might as well move back here behind the T-800. He still has to roll for uh, spawning, though, and I think we've probably just won the scenario. All right, spawn time. And we get a four and a five. There are no spawn points on four and five. Unbelievably lucky. There are three enemies on the board, though, that have to move for Kyle, but I think we're good to go. All right, Kyle has three enemies on the board, but they're not going to get really anywhere. One, two, three, four. We got a hunter killer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have a T-800. One, two, three, four. Nowhere near our characters. Let's zoom up here. We're wrapping up our playthrough. Terminator Genesis, the second mission which was a diversion. All right, so it's the end of the second round since we hit the waypoint, uh, Echo. And so by the end of the second round, if we are all in the zone, which we are, we have won the scenario. So we've gotten out of there. There's no actually closing text for the scenario. There's a text at the beginning of Mission 3. Will I be doing Mission 3? Of course I'll be doing it. When? I don't know. Sometime in the future. So thanks so much for watching along. Thanks for your comments, subscriptions, and likes. This is Terminator Genesis, Rise of the Resistance. It was Mission 2, a diversion. We made our way all the way through this complex, took down a flamethrower boss, got to the waypoint. The truck is now showing up, and we're out of here. So thanks so much, and I'll see you next time for another complete playthrough series. All right, but one last thing here at the end. Of course, I forgot the rewards at the end of our second mission. So we've completed the objectives. Not a problem. The campaign reward. All characters keep their weapons and equipment and gain one rank token. So when we come back to mission three, we're going to have two rank tokens instead of one. And when we do mission three, we're going to be shuffling the level two weapon and equipment cards into their respective decks. So that's cool. So we'll have ones and twos mixed in. Plus, we're going to have two rank tokens. All right, that concludes our playthrough of Terminator Genesis Mission 2. Now you know what the rewards are. So when we come back to Mission 3, we get an extra rank token and level 2 weapons and equipment shuffled in. So thanks so much. We'll see you next time for another complete playthrough series.